Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I am here sitting where I usually do my favorites video. But since I'm not gonna do a favorites for the month of October, I thought of this idea of instead talking about my weird or scary or strange paranormal things that have happened to me but I don't like to call it that because if not we tend to think that it's scary but it's not scary to me it's intriguing and I just get so curious as to why they happen to me and for this video I did this makeup since this would have been my second option for this Halloween but instead I was Robin so that I could match my daughter she was Batman and we had so much fun for Halloween so for this video to end the month of October I'm gonna be talking about three things that have happened to me from when I was a little girl up until now so it's gonna be three stories one about aliens something that I saw that moved and something kind of like mystical or fantasy so let's begin with the first story so the first story begins when I was young and my mom's friend used to take care of me and on this day my dad picked me up from her house and we were on our way home and I remember being in the passenger seat and he got a red light so we were there waiting and you know that as kids we are so curious and we're always looking at everything so I looked up at the sky and I see something round metallic it was shiny it was like silver and I was just there staring at it for a few minutes and I just couldn't take my eyes off it because I think that was my first experience with aliens up until then I had only heard about them or seen them in movies but this was the first time that I saw them in real life and I just kept staring at it in disbelief I couldn't believe what I was seeing but it was real and so I told my dad but from where he was he couldn't see it so the light turned green and he was going to make a right towards it and when he turned that thing was not there so it was in a matter of seconds and I had just seen it in the same spot it didn't move at all but when he turned it was not there anymore ever since then I believe in them and also this galaxy and universe is so immense and just like animals I think there is many type of humans out there or other intelligent beings that are watching over us and I don't think they're here to hurt us if not I think if they would be bad aliens they would have harmed us a long time ago but I think they're just here just to see how we are as humans how we interact and study us but to me it was so interesting to see them for the very first time on that day <laughs> okay so for the next story every time that it was summer my mom would send us over to her country so that we could spend time with my grandmother in Guatemala and ever since I was young I've liked to read so one day I was sitting in front of one of the bedrooms reading and I remember my grandmother and my sister had gone into the bedroom but I was so into the book and I got distracted and I saw the door close the door was fully open and it closed and it left a little gap so I thought it had been my sister and my grandmother so I went into the bedroom and guess what there was no one there was nothing in the bedroom I left the bedroom and I went inside the house and I saw my grandmother and my sister inside and I asked them if they had been inside the bedroom and they said no they had left a long time ago and I was just there like wow and I explained to them what I had seen I know it was not the air or any type of breeze because if not the air would have pushed the door open but the door closed from the inside out and there was no air there no windows in the bedroom no fan nothing so yeah that was kind of weird <laughs> okay so for the last story this happened to me many times on many occasions when I used to be more in contact with my angels from the side of my eyes I would always see little orbs flying and they would be different colors sometimes blue green like a orange color and so beautiful but this one time in this bedroom I'm sitting on this bed but on the other side of the bedroom there's another bed so I was sitting on the other bed 
and I remember it was getting kind of dark. It was evening, and what caught my attention was this beautiful purple violet light. It was right here on this wall, and it was just there floating, and I can I can't explain really what I saw. And it was some sort of like energy ball, but it was not brown. And it was there floating for a few seconds. I was staring straight at it, unlike the orbs. Usually when I want to see them, they just disappear. But this thing was there floating and it was so beautiful. It was there for a few seconds and then it started kind of like to disappear into the wall. And it was such a beautiful purple color, kind of like what they use in movie effects beautiful lights. But this was real that I just couldn't believe that I was seeing. It was so unreal. <laughs> So those are my three stories that I wanted to share with you guys. If you have any like mystery or any sort of story that you want to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section and I would love to hear about your stories too. And to this day, I always wonder why they happen to me or what they are, what they mean. I get so curious about it and they don't scare me. I think they probably mean something or it's like a signal or some type of message that we should be getting. I don't know. And you can find me on my other accounts. I have Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook with the same name, Lynn Sire. And I just recently got Tumblr in case you want to find me there too. And if you like this video, you can give it a like. That lets me know that you have enjoyed this video. And you can subscribe for more videos. And the next video is going to be about beauty, which I already planned about. And thank you so much for your support. And to all the new people to my channel, welcome. I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>